the bay is about 200 miles long uh, and we're about you know three quarters of the way up uh, so you know 50 miles ish up to have it a grace and the C&D canal 150 ish down to the Atlantic Ocean so knowing that is the water here as salty as the ocean no no it's it, it that's a good word too uh, you know if you've heard that before it's brackish a mixture of salt and fresh so if the ocean's 35 parts per thousand how salty do you think it is here today if, if the, yeah that's a really good guess what if you know normally it's 10 what happened yesterday that would make it less than 10 yeah so tremendous amount of fresh water came in yesterday we'll, we'll see how salty it is uh, so that's how salt got in there how did oxygen get in well, first of all the air we breathe God. Yeah. God. God. <laughs> and he created some trees and stuff for she uh, and they do photosynthesis and you know they make sugar and spit out oxygen yep uh, so that's how it got into the air we breathe and also uh, yep there's plant there are plants in the water algae that do photosynthesis putting oxygen in the water and on a day like this there's a nice breeze some of that atmospheric air is just mixing right in to the surface of the water so that's one reason we have a long probe the salinity is going to change from top to bottom the oxygen is going to change or could change top to bottom the temperature is that going to change yeah. potentially uh, and that leads us to this next thing. Why would the temperature be different on the top than it is at the bottom? The sun. The sun is shining into the water. Can the sun shine all the way to the bottom today? Mm, it no. can't. Some of it's getting reflected. Some of it's getting absorbed. Uh, it can't go all the way down. And then, of course, the sort of chemistry of water. Uh, hot water is rising. More dense water, colder water is sinking down to the bottom. Same with salt. Uh, this is a secchi disc. S e c c h i. Secchi disc. Yeah. Yes, the same thing that was in the turbidity tube. Which, by the way, the conversation was, what should it be? For here, it should be five feet. We should be able to see down five feet. Yeah. Not today. Not today. Uh, in a river or stream, so it should be. You know, you should, the sun should be able to hit the bottom, basically. That, the reason five feet is the number they use for the Chesapeake is most of the water, about 80% of the bay, is six feet deep or less. So if in 80% of the bay, the sun could shine down to the bottom, what could happen? What could grow down there? Algae and rooted plants, SAVs. So uh, that's why that number. And there's an organization that actually does regular bacteriological testing in this body of water. Why would you do that? To see if it's safe for the swimming. Right, because the definition of clean water, fishable, fishable and swimmable. And swimmable. Right, so uh, you wanna know if there's bacteria here. Oh, why is there a duck attached to the secchi disc? Huh? <laughs> it is that you know there is a practical reason why there is a duck uh, connected cool. to the secutus. There is another reason. If the water is clear, what can grow on the bottom? Grasses can grow on the bottom. Those grasses produce seeds that, in the fall and in the winter time, are food for migratory or resident uh, birds. So this bird can go and eat some seeds. Uh, from the grasses uh, and like like rain was saying uh, this cove right here and you can see them right now there's geese out there uh, is home to a lot of waterfowl that want clear water so grasses can grow and they've actually planted uh, there, there are I think they planted grasses around the edge here in addition to the grasses that are on land 